Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss 4.22 and 4.23 from loss of motion. If in exercise 4.21 the speed of the stone is increased beyond the maximum permissible value and the string breaks suddenly, which of the following correctly describes the trajectory of the stone after the string breaks? The stone moves radially outwards. The stone flies off tangentially from the instant the string breaks. The stone flies off at an angle with a tangent whose magnitude depends upon the speed of the particle. That means the stone is traveling in a circular path like this. Centripetal acceleration is towards center at this instant. The direction of the velocity of the stone is like this, tangentially. When the string breaks, definitely the stone flies off tangentially from the instant the string breaks due to inertia. The reason is due to inertia. Coming to 4.23, explain why a horse cannot pull a cart and run in empty space. A passengers are thrown forward from their seats when the speeding bus stops suddenly. It is easier to pull a lawn mover than to push it. A cricketer moves his hands backwards while holding catch. Here we will discuss one by one. While coming to A, a horse cannot pull cart and run in empty space. The reason is because in an empty space No external force will act on the system. The same thing we can show like this also. Suppose say it is the ground, whenever the horse is walking on the ground, so whenever it is walking, it will exert some force on the ground. Can we take it action? At the same time, the force will be exerted by the ground on the feet of the horse. We can take it is reaction. If we are resolving this one into two components and the reaction is parallel to the ground. Suppose say R cos theta here vertically R sin theta. So here R cos theta will help the horse to pull the cart if the medium is present that means if it is on the road. But in the space in empty space, there is no reaction at all. That's why the horse cannot pull a cart and run in empty space. I hope it is clear. Coming to B. Passengers are thrown forward from their seats when a speeding bus stops suddenly. This is due to inertia of motion. Due to inertia of motion. The upper part of the body tends to remain in motion 
even when the bus stops. Coming to C. It is easier to pull a lawn mower than to push it. We can take the free body diagram for this. <clears throat> it is a lawn mower. Its weight acts vertically downwards a normal reaction upwards and while we are supposed say pulling this one with a force F that is in the case of pulling. Now if you resolve this applied force into two components along horizontal F cos theta along vertical f sin theta then in this case the normal reaction value n is equal to mg minus f sin theta will be and frictional force in the case of pulling is equal to mu naught times of n that is mu naught into mg minus f sin theta. While coming to pushing, it is a lawn mover. The weight of this one acts vertically downwards mg and normal reaction acts upwards. And uh, we are pushing it with a force F. We can extend this force like this F. If it is making an angle theta with horizontal, along horizontal, the component becomes F cos theta. Along vertical, it will become F sin theta. So, in the case of pushing, it is. So, n value is equal to mg plus f sin theta. Then frictional force in the case of pushing is equal to mu naught times of n. That is mu naught times of mg plus f sin theta. From these two cases, we can show that f in the case of pulling, the restrictional force offered in the case of pulling is smaller than F in the case of pushing. So, we have to apply more force to overcome the friction in the case of pushing with compared to pulling. That is why we can say that it is easier to pull a lawn mover than to push it. Coming to D. A cricketer moves his hands backwards while holding a catch. Actually, we have the force F is equal to dP by dt rate of change of momentum now from this impulse is equal to f dt that is also nothing but dp while catching the hands moved backwards so, by moving it, what will happen? The time of catch cricketer increases the time of catch. DT increases. The time of catch 
increases as the time of catch increases to keep the impulse same f value decreases so this f is nothing but called impulsive force which causes impulse the impulsive force decreases so this ball does not hurt the cricketer these are the reasons or explanation for 4.23 thank you